Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Casual, and today I'm going to be doing a locked tier list. Um, there's some, been some stuff I'd add. Uh, also, just gonna add that Predator Eyes on the traits. So, I, it's an old tier list. I'd add some stuff. Um, but I will be adding Predator Eyes. It's already on there, might as well. So, first of all, direct shot. This thing if you can get it to work, is basically just a guarantee goal. Uh, it's pretty easy to like stop though, just by like man marking them. You can make an argument for low a, low A tier for direct shot or high B tier, but I'm gonna put it A tier. Iron head. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty bad. Like if if someone's the same height as you. They can easily just block your Iron Head because Chest Trap has more hitbox than Iron Head. Unless Iron Head messes with the hitbox, then it would be up to a very low B tier. But yeah, Long Legs. I would put this at like I'm gonna put this A tier. It can be strong. I just think it's a little ping dependent because I tried this at one point with Clamps and I was on top of the ball and I still wasn't getting it in bad servers. Leader. As much as I love it, it's it's pretty bad. It has one move. Snatch this thing's S tier easily because when you actually like block and it procs, it gives you a massive increase in your hitbox. This thing is so good. Neurotic. I think if you're actually like a defender, it's impossible to use since you're the furthest one back. So you're like leaving the goal wide open. C tier. Repel. This is probably like the worst goalie weapon, but it's not even that bad in my eyes, to be honest. Because, like, it also allows you to aim your block, which some people will say acrobatic will as well, but it actually doesn't. I still think acrobatic is better, though. I'm going to put this very low B tier. This is probably the lowest B tier. Um, copycat. Eh, I'd also put a B. There's not much, like, needed to be said now web i'd actually say this is like the second best defensive weapon in the entire game in my eyes because it's very versatile it's its effect is good and it has a very low cooldown slows your target down for like two seconds uh i'd say it's actually better than godspeed i think godspeed is very bad Kunigami, this is so overrated in my eyes. I put a B tier. Um, you have to full charge it, which is it's balancing, obviously, but it's just so easy to predict. Obviously, people are going to be like, yeah, just hold it, though, but not many people will actually just hold it. Shadow, this thing's also really good. It's, it's actually so super strong. Also, jump scaring people is, like, really funny. Voracious, I'd also say this is mid. I never even thought it was all that strong in its prime. Uh, Watchtower. I'm gonna put this at A tier. See, I'm pretty sure in League, if it touches the goalie, it's not allowed, but it gives you a massive buff to your hitbox, and it can also blind the shit out of enemies. <laughs> um, but yeah. Acrobatic, this is also one I would put in A tier. Goalie slash winger weapon, I'd say. Uh, It's gotten nerfed a few times. You could put it in B tier. I I wouldn't say you're wrong for that. Speedster, it's it's really annoying given the right build. But uh, overall, it's kind of mid, I'd say. I'd say Shadow's way better. Just go Shadow. No, Nagi, this thing is super good. People will say this is bad, but then say Kunigami's the best weapon in the game. If you're running bunnies and get really close to the goal, if you play it right, there's no way they stop you without Serpent. Serpent's like the one counter. Riptide? Uh, I'm a little bit biased here. I don't think it actually performs all that good. I just really like it, and it's really fun to use, especially with like Ambitextrous or something. Yeah, I'd say high B, low A, somewhere around there, though. 
monster. This is very high B tier, I'd say. Low cooldown, has cheese potential, but I don't rank based on that. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty, it's really good given a certain dribble build. I might make a video on that dribble build, which is, I won't say what it is, but sword screw. I'm going to say this is like A tier as well. Uh, it's good mind game wise, and I mean that's basically it. It's, it's good mind game wise. Formless, I'd say this is the best shooting weapon in the entire game. I'd actually put snatch like below Nagi. Uh, it's hard to use, yes, and I agree that hard weapons to use should be good. Though it's hard to make every weapon like that. Uh, King, this is also another good one. Basically, if you run, like, no look or something with it, then it's insane. Because if you're facing a player goalie, and you just get a 1v1 with him with King, and then just use no look, it's super hard to block it. Emperor? I'm not even sure about this one anymore. Because sometimes, I've seen the goalie block this shit, like, point blank. Um... I'm still going to put it, like, high A tier, though. I, I wouldn't say it's as good as, uh, Formless over here for shooting. It's way easier to use, though, so if you're new, you should probably use that one over Formless. Unless you get Formless, then I'd keep it, but... Anyway, Serpent, the one the one actual counter to Nagi. I'd actually, like, rank this number one weapon in the entire game. Um, You also get the IQ dives, which are actually really good. You can also dive with the IQ dives into the serpent for a little bit of extra distance. I'd say it's really good. Godspeed. This is where I get a little controversial. Whatever. But um Okay, I'm gonna put this at the top of C tier though. But um Actually I'd say it's better than Repel. And that's about it. It's too slow. You could easily react to it because of that. It doesn't go far enough to actually like make it worth it and it's cooldown is pretty long um sure i'll be caught off guard by it like once in a while but i could probably easily react to it given it takes like one and a half seconds to actually work i think it was funny for that one video though where you like fly with godspeed um planetary great combo with direct shot honestly i I, I think it's a fun combo with direct shot. I'm going to put this highest high B tier because honestly, I don't think it's all that good. It I mean, if someone makes a bad pass, you can use it. It has infinite range. That's a really good upside. Um, Rough. This, I'm honestly not even sure where to put this necessarily, but I'll probably put it in like low A. You could definitely put it in high B, I would say. Um, you just charge at someone, you stun them for two seconds, but you're stunned for four seconds. It's a troll weapon. But, um, it's really good if you're, like, stalling out and waiting for your team and someone's near. Accelerate. I, I was a D1 hater on this one when it came out. Um, I've, I see some use. I wouldn't say it's better than Monster, though. Yeah, this is my uh, tier list, basically. I mean, you could probably put Neurotic in D tier, too. And actually, wait. No, let's put Voracious at the top of C tier. Um, But yeah, this is basically just going to be my tier list. Uh, For the weapons, I'm going to do the traits. So let's get on to that. Uh, obviously, let's just get all the, the nerfs out of the way. Mm-hmm. I'd say heavy is really dog shit, to be honest. Because if you're running a power trait, you're already running a power build, so you're 6'3", so you're just making yourself super slow. Um, Surf? I'd probably rank this one A tier if it would work with IQ slides, though that'd be crazy. Um, it was very popular back when Voracious was in its prime. Let's put clamps at A tier. It's it's pretty strong sometimes. Heavy, I don't think power buff traits or flows are even worth running unless they give some other buff like Athlete would. 
tank. I'd also put this here. Actually, no, I'm going to put tank in S tier because it, uh, goalie. It's super good on goalie. Long shards, I'd also put in S tier. I mean, it's just the fastest speed trait in the game. Like, you could definitely put it A tier, I think, but I'm honestly going to put it S tier. Fortune. This just gives you a money increase. I would put this in S tier if it gave you the amount of money you got in a match just on all your slots. But this just gives you three times money on one slot, which is why I don't think it's worth getting an exotic. Well, which is why I don't think it's getting. Mainly because exotic traits are so... There's so many exotic traits. Like, <laughs> there's like 10, 11 exotic traits right now. So I just don't think it's worth getting. Like, if you pull it and you're, like, low on money, ooh, cool, you could use it for a little while, but I, I don't think you would ever actually go for this one. Diver, uh, this is also probably, like, the worst goalie trait, to be honest. Mm, I don't, I wouldn't say it's as bad as, like, heavy, though. Claw, this is also an S-tier goalie trait, because same reason for Snatch, they stack with Snatch, too. Uh... So in total, you have a 75% chance to get the block, and that block will have a really big hitbox. Tireless? Okay, I'm going to put this one at the top of B tier. Um, I'm not sure. I think it could be a solid defensive midfield build, or a build trait. I'm not sure. I don't play League. I'm just going off intuition when I say this. But um, Ripper... It's funny to, like... Actually, I'm going to put that here. It's really funny to, like... Just keep someone on the ground for, like, five seconds to just stare at them. And, like, let them think about what they've done wrong. But, uh... Yeah. There's not much to really say about Ripper. It just keeps you on the ground longer. Um, Unbreakable. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it just stays... Like, uh... I'm pretty sure it only saves you from one ankle break, and it's like you have to proc it. Um, if I'm wrong about this and it works some other way, please let me know in the comments. That would be really helpful. Uh, bunnies, this is just like, oh, I'd say it's second best non goalie trait in the game. Like, insane jump height. It actually nerfs the amount of jumps you have, I believe, by one. But, uh,. It's still insanely good. Uh, like, change this order up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll put a tank in front of long strides. But, um, yeah, bunnies. It, it's so good. I use. I try to be tall and use this on every build. It's just, like, my go-to. So. Athlete. I'd say this is the best trait in the entire game, hands down. Buffs your jump height, which is massive. Jump height buffs are extremely important if you're trying to make like a comp build, in my opinion. And the speed buff is also there. Also power buff if you like to score a pass as well, so. Um, no look. I'd put this in A tier, because honestly, I would only use this with like King or maybe Emperor in some situations. But uh Emp is already strong enough, but Okay, I know I I know I'm done like with the this the the weapons and stuff. But I'm gonna go back and say that emperor. I'd say it's hard to actually like not be obvious with it. That's another reason why I put it. Actually, I'm gonna reorder that like this. So that's why I think emperor is hard to use it's hard to not be predictable with it that's how i get so many blocks i simply predict it there's no way i'm reacting to like 0.1 milliseconds of some bullshit that moves at mach 20 it's just predictable and it's hard not to be predictable with it but um yeah um consistent you could probably use this in, as like a serpent in a league team maybe but in autos, uh, unless you're using off, unless you really like something like formless, and you want to just use that over and over, just use cooldown flow with consistent. Then I don't think you're gonna really get much use out of this besides like serpent and league. Cause remember, Nagi Nagi's only counter is serpent. 
I'm gonna put this in B tier though. Quick draw. Uh, it was funny for the one Kunigami video, but I think it's pretty bad. Metavision. I'd put this at A tier. Um, there's not much to say. It performs pretty decently well, I'd say. Pretty boring though. Uh, Egoist. I'm gonna skip Golden Zone for now and just move straight to Egoist. How do I make a new one? Do I just make a new one? Uh, Robo or yeah. Oh wait, hold up. I hate I hate Egoist with the passion. This thing is pretty bad in my opinion. Cause sure you get your flow basically the entire game, but if you're good, you're getting your flow a lot anyways. So, I, I don't see the point of running it. Golden Zone, I think this is straight hot trash. Um, obviously, you can have field cheese with it. But like I said, I don't rank depending on cheese. Um, I just think Golden Zone is very mid. It's not, it's not big enough. It's very easy to stop. Okay, actually, no. It is big enough. It's just very easy to stop. It's not worth trying to go for it, though, in my opinion. Ambidextrous. Okay, this this is funny. Especially with, like, Riptide. Um, Kunigami build was also pretty funny. But, uh... Also, it, like, actually makes you use your brain when using the weapon. Because you have to, like, angle yourself. Which is something I like. Um, Puppeteer. I'd also put this in A tier. Um, low A, or sorry, low A, high B, yeah. Um, basically just gives five teammates max flow, which isn't really, you're not getting full value unless you play League. But I, I would imagine it's pretty good in League. Um, also it's not good in autos because the super long cooldown and the flow cooldown, it's just not helpful. Now, this isn't in the game anymore, but Predator I I just wanted to to uh add this one because like it, it it was it was super strong when it first came out. Like you you could fucking half field with Kunigami when this shit came out. I'm not gonna lie, this was probably like the best trait in the game when it came out. Like you could argue athlete since it's more like you could use it on basically any position and Predator Eye was basically just a striker weapon. But, um, yeah. Revolver? I actually think that this does something. Because when you use Nagi, it makes the goalie, like, unable to react properly. Because, uh, you're, like, in the air and it fucks with the AI or something. But when you use Revolver, I'm pretty sure it gets rid of that. Um... Also, you have to have Nagi with it. That, I just, I mean, it makes sense to have exclusive traits to certain weapons. But I just don't like how rare it was for how little it gave me, to be honest. Um, I would honestly put this slightly above Golden Zone, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for the tier list. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.